Happy Sunday, Funday, everyone. Joe here at Sports Grid. Let's have a cup of Joe, and I've got a ton of games I'm looking at. If you're looking for my best bets, head on over to the Sports Grid app for the Madden Quickie and my parlay play of four touchdown scores at plus 41.99. And the value has only ticked up on the day. It's plus 4,300. Someone was telling me they just got on their book. But let's get into today's cup of Joe plays. You know I'm laying the points with the Chargers later today. That's a four o'clock Eastern matchup. I'm gonna lay the three points. The Chargers off a bye in Denver. I know it's a hard place to play, but Derwin James is back off suspension. This team will look healthier. Uh, Joe Alt and Slater will be out on the field giving Herbert that protection. Chargers laying the three points all day. When we look at some of these earlier games, Washington versus Baltimore, I gotta go over in this one, over 51 and a half. I do think both of these teams are gonna be able to put up the points. We know Lamar and company will have success here versus Washington's defense, and I do trust in Jaden Daniels to be able to move that ball down the field and put those points on the board as well. So over 51 and a half. When we look at the Houston Texans versus the New England Patriots, I do think you hold your nose and grab the Patriots plus the six and a half in this one. I think they're gonna have success. Now we know no Nico Collins in the lineup for the Texans and I'm going to target Tank Dell in this one to have that breakout game that we've been waiting for. We know he was one of the number one targets for CJ Stroud before he got injured last season. So Tank Dell here, you can take him for over 54 and a half receiving yards. I would look at ulting that one up and the anytime touchdown at plus 195. Now on the other side, I'm looking at Hunter Henry. I love this tight end out there and I do think he'll be impactful in this game. Now his receiving prop is 24 and a half. I'm altering it up to 50 plus receiving yards for great plus money at plus 370. You guys know I'm always chasing that plus money. Lastly, but not least, the Cardinals facing the Packers. Now, the Packers at home in Lambeau. Give me the Packers all day long. I'm going to lay the five and a half points with them. I do think the Cardinals start off so slow in that first half of the game. So I'm going to lay the three and a half in the first half as well with the Packers. I'm expecting Jordan Love to get those explosive plays down the field. His longest pass is 37 and a half. I do think that pass completion will come in and his passing yards 275 and a half. I will take that to the over because I do think the Cardinals will push them at the end of this game, but I still think the Packers end up covering. Josh Jacobs, Jaden Reeds for those anytime touchdowns. Now, when we look at the Cardinals, you know we gotta have some props on this one. Kyler Murray for his longest pass completion over 33 and a half, I think is a solid way to go minus 114. When they're trailing in this game, he's gonna have to make some huge plays and who's he going to get it to? Marvin Harrison Jr. I will look at him over for his receiving yards of 55 and a half. It's interesting. Vandal does not have his longest reception prop. You know we've been cashing on that week in and week out. So they've taken it off in this one. I'm also looking for Kyler Murray's number two target, um, Trey McBride, to come out nice and strong. You take him over 50 and a half receiving yards. He is a tight end of four. The cards. This is going to be a great day of action. You know I'm taking the Lions all day long as well, you guys. So make sure you join me over on the grid today with Scott Wetzel and Adam Kaufman. We'll be going over all of these afternoon action games and happy Canadian Thanksgiving to everyone out there. I'm going for turkey after my shows today. We'll run off to my mom's house. Super excited for that and uh, watch the night game. Cincinnati Bengals. Can they come out and beat the Giants? Let's go, you guys. See you later.